very good mentally healthy place. I was about to say mentally strong because I don't want to be tested. Like, oh, please don't test me. I'm not trying to be tested. Let's fly away, just you and me. I need a little break from the city. It's been so long since we've been gone. Good morning. I'm well. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Okay. okay so that was like really quick and painless the chairs are already together so i just had like in room delivery and not like front door delivery um and then i didn't pay for like the setup and breakdown because the box the chairs are already together so all i have to do literally is just take them out and then we have a service that comes and picks up this type of stuff like bulk items so that won't be an issue at all so i got my bar stools yes ma'am good morning i am so like super giddy this morning i got up super early i know i look a mess um one is cloudy outside today so it's like one of those real chill vibey sort of days <clears throat> and then i just left the gym i work out or whatever from training so i was like while wow, i'm still somewhat just a mess let me go ahead and actually take the time to deep clean my kitchen area and then go ahead and decorate that space. That way I can get dressed for the day. And you know what I mean? I don't have to like feel like I'm getting dirty, if that makes sense, because I need to mop, I need to do all of those things. So you are gonna have to excuse me because I am looking like a mess. Today was 45 minutes and it was really challenging. Um, I am getting back into working out. I've started back cooking at home. I've started back working out. <clears throat> I can already see the changes in my body, but girl, I ain't gonna lie. I put on weight slowly over the last five to seven years but on the same token i've put on like a little extra since i've been here because girl i have just been enjoying my new life like not to say it's new and that i didn't enjoy life in georgia but i am just i'm happy in a lot of areas you know what i mean and when you're happy in a lot of areas you tend to celebrate more even in the smallest ways and for me um eating i eat for convenience and then I was also always going out because it's like a restaurant on every corner in Dallas. Like, there's restaurants everywhere. It says, happy weight, happy with my relationship, happy, happy with my own personal journeys in life, happy with the goals that I set for myself and all of the things that I'm literally just checking off, boom, boom, boom. Happy with my finances. Like, happy with my finances. Happy with my freaking credit score. It's still in the eights, high eights even after having sold my house. I am just like in a very good mentally sh healthy place. I was about to say mentally strong because I don't want to be tested. Like, oh, please don't test me. I'm not trying to be tested. Um, happy with the new school that I'm at. Like, love my position, love my team. Like, I have an amazing team of GT teachers that I work with and like, I'm just like in a very, very good headspace. And then to be able to take my time and get the pieces that I need to invest in in order to make this space feel like home. Like, yeah, who wouldn't celebrate with a glass of wine and a little alcohol over here, a little cocktail over here, some steaks and stuff over there. Like, and then Bay and I try so many restaurants uh, when we go out. So anyway, I had to pull it back. Pull it big, cause baby, we got to get back on it. I want to be Carnival 2.0 with the body by the time Christmas time comes, or not even by Christmas time, like by this time next year. 
But uh, we are about to like, as soon as I finish eating, we're about to jump like right in and get this space knocked out. I'm gonna show you every single thing I bought for this space. I'm gonna show you how I'm going to decorate it. We are going to unbox my chairs, which are over here. And we're gonna make this thing like a whole movement this morning. Like it is not even 10.30 and I plan on going out later on today so that means i have to wash my hair i have to do all of those things so i don't want to be spending my whole day just doing this one area but i am very excited so i am going to take my time and just bring my vision together all right so before i actually jump into this deep cleaning process and then setting up this space i do want to take a minute to eat if you're like me <laughs> i will start a project and because i want to see it through no matter how long it takes me to do it, I'll skip eating. And then out of convenience, like I was saying earlier, I'll end up eating poorly. And then the cycle just repeats itself. It just becomes like, you know, a repetitive cycle. So before I start, I'm going to make me this really quick and easy little breakfast taco that I really, really love. The only thing is, is I don't have any avocados. I wish I had some to put on my little breakfast taco. But basically, it's just two eggs or an egg because you can just use an egg. I have literally two left in the refrigerator, so I'm just going to use these two. Um, a few slices of either bacon or turkey bacon. Um, or if you don't eat meat, period, then you could just do eggs. Uh, if you don't eat dairy, I don't know, sis, because I'm not a vegetarian. <laughs> um and then you just take the tortilla and before you assemble it, you just put it in a nice hot pan with just a little bit of oil, sear it on both sides and boom, you have a really easy breakfast taco. I like to make my bacon, turkey bacon or whatever in the air fryer. And then of course my eggs on the stove. And this is just a really quick, easy little breakfast. Mm -hmm. Nothing. So go ahead and just take a minute to deep clean this space. Um, for the most part, my apartment is like super, super, super clean because I just went through and did a very thorough deep cleaning like two days ago. But my bed is not made. There's stuff on the bathroom sink, stuff like that. So I need to start by trying to clean up first. Oh Lord, Let me make sure I take my iron. I will forget. So I'll make sure I take that. not my fault You've been lying saying that I took away your peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you have no options I ain't take your options Now I'm not the problem Man, that's on you, yeah You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong you lost your mind when you dropped that bomb Girl, are you crazy? Yeah, you must be crazy I've been thinking lately Lately it's you You stole your peace Put it on me One thing I feel like about this process of You know, getting stuff for the apartment I am practicing a lot of patience, which is helping me to define like my personal style as far as like my home aesthetic is concerned. When I bought my first house, I didn't do that. You know, I like rushed and tried to come up with a color really quickly. I tried to like fill up every space and all of those things. And maybe about, I will say two to three years after I was in my home, I was looking around like this is really not it. Like this is really not 
how I envision like the layout of my home and the decor and all of that. And so I did slowly start to change some stuff, you know, and incorporate some new stuff. But even then, <clears throat> I figured this is my first home. So I'm not gonna like stall from scratch, but I'll be more mindful the next time. And so that's exactly what I'm doing now. Like I'm trying to be mindful with my money. Nobody wants to invest or buy anything and then you don't absolutely love it. So my sofa won't be here for another two months. Like it's September now and my sofa isn't scheduled to even start like the making process until October. And they're saying that I should get my sofa by the 1st of November. I like want to get out and explore Dallas and experience the city and do a lot of fun stuff but I find myself working, you know what I mean? A lot like as far as like my social media, my content is really growing. Thank you for the freaking 10,000, over 10,000 subscribers. I'm like so, I'm like so like grateful to you for subscribing and following and watching and participating and doing all those things. But it's like my weekends are relegated to just getting my business in order. Like, it's stuff I have to do on the weekend still, um, or like right after I get off work to be functional here. You know, it's, it's it's not just cut and dry. You get up and you move somewhere else and you're like, bam, I'm here now, I'm ready to go. You still have to do some background stuff to make sure your finances, your legal, you know, all those things are in order. If something were to happen to me, God forbid, here in Dallas, I have to have things here in place so that my family back home in Georgia can function and take care of my state here in Dallas. So it's just like different things to consider. It's not like I could just hit the ground and start running the city and playing in the streets. I do do that a little bit, but it's museums I want to go to, it's shows I want to go to. I am going to see Beyonce, so I'm really excited about that. I want to play in the streets, but I'm trying to still get things together, if that makes sense. But baby, it's you. Lying like a right, but take your stuff back. And I would never hear You've been flexing everywhere Girl, look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you You stole your peace Put it on me But baby, it's Like a ride, but take your stuff back, baby. It's you.
this is what I use to clean the stove off with. I already sprayed it with um, a little like degreaser, just a little bit. And then I go in, which you don't have to do both. Um, that's a little overkill <laughs> if you ask me. But I really love the way that this stuff smells. Um, so I'm just gonna spray a little bit of this and then I'm gonna use my scrub. I think this is the scrub mommy. I'm gonna use both sides to scrub and then wipe. So as you can see, it just, it looks like it's pretty much just brand new. I then go in with a microfiber towel and I just pick up, you know, what's damp um, and any additional dust. Cause like I said, this little space over here, it gets dusty um, just every day. <laughs> it just collects dust, even when I'm using it. It just stays dusty. And it's an eyesore to me. I don't like the way that looks, but you know, such is life, right? Other spot that typically gets dusty is like up and through here. So I just take like my microfiber towel and I just use my finger to kind of wiggle that through and get that dust out because it gets dusty in there. And again, I just don't like dust. Like, I don't like dust. Sunlight that always stays Dinner by the waterway It's that sweet life Raise your cross Made some do crack a smile He asked if I could stay a while I'm living that high life Time to catch a flight but you can make me go Unlocking all the memories of my new home Ventilated echoes playing to and fro To and fro, back and forth, yeah Caught some kids dancing in the alleyway Crazy how the melodies began to play, yeah Tell me how you feel it when you hear the lyric, yeah My heart's in stock So I do want to take a minute to share why deep cleaning is so therapeutic to me and where I get the habit of deep cleaning from. Um, it's a ritual for me. It's something that I do every single week. And if I don't deep clean, I just don't feel as successful that week. I don't feel like my life is in order if my home is um, not organized or if spaces in my home or in a disarray or if different pieces does not have a home. I am very, very quick to donate things to Goodwill or get rid of stuff if they do not have a place because I am emphatic about not holding on to things, <laughs> things, people sometimes, but definitely things that do not serve as a purpose or do, do not serve a purpose in my life. So I get my cleaning habits from my mother. Um, <laughs> it's funny because the first time Bay met my mom, um, I don't know if she was nervous. I don't think that she was, but he made a comment later about her not sitting down because she was like cleaning, 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 cleaning. And then like she wiped the stove down repetitively. And he said, you know, Jen, I honestly see and understand why you are the way that you are because gosh you get it from your mom and i do i do cleaning brings me a level of calmness that i just cannot explain i clean when i'm happy i clean when i'm frustrated i 
clean when I'm sad. I clean when I want to change the energy in a space. And that's the key is wanting to change the energy in a space. I am very much the type of person that thinks and believes I cannot control what happens outside of my home. I really have very limited control over what happens in my home. For example, uh, an appliance can break down or, you know, uh, God forbid, someone in another unit starts a fire or something like that. Like my control is very limited, but that which I can control, I try to keep in order. And so to come home to a very clean space, to leave a clean space, it just makes me feel accomplished. It makes me feel organized. I've had friends to say, oh, well, you won't be that clean uh, when you have a kid. And I beg to differ. I think it's different for everybody. I don't know if my level of cleanliness will remain the same because I can spend hours, half of a day doing just what you see me doing now because again, it's therapeutic to me. But who I am at my core is an organized, clean person. So having a child for me ideally would not change that. I, I can't see it changing that in me. If it does, then that means that I'm not prioritizing my mental health because cleaning is therapeutic for me. It's different for everybody. I don't expect someone else to have a, the same desire or level of wanting to clean or look forward to cleaning. You know, I, I, I can't describe it. I really can't. Either you know or you don't. But <laughs> either you get it or you don't get it. But yes, that's that's Jen. That's how Jen works. like two hours later um i have like completely like top to bottom no i gotta do the top so i do swiffer the ceiling so i do need to do that i forgot that but i've literally 99 percent have cleaned my kitchen area from top to bottom i'm about to steam the floors um i'm not going to do the refrigerator on the inside because i do have to go grocery shopping so once i get groceries and everything then i'll just wipe down the inside of the fridge and i'll share that with you because if you are new here i have some really nice pieces um that i got from amazon that helps to keep the fridge just very very pretty and aesthetic and organized so i'll share those with you in you know later in the vlog right now i am just about to like i said steam the floor do the ceiling and um pull out all of the decor so we can go through everything that i have um yeah so let me finish that um because i don't want to take a break if i take a break then it's going to take me longer to finish this project than it should so i'm just going to go ahead and keep working and then i'll catch up with you guys in just
Okay, so this space is completely clean, top to bottom, ceiling to floor. Let's just jump right into decorating because at this point, I just wanna see these chairs. I have to see these counter stools. Mentally, this was the hardest area to envision how I was gonna style it because what I didn't wanna do is over style it like buy too many pieces of decor, stuff that just is gonna not look good. It's gonna like be dated looking. Sometimes, Simpler is more sophisticated. So I am going for a much simpler approach. So let's just start with this area here. I am gonna kind of like do it like a voiceover um, because I'm gonna be going between the camera and then like putting pieces up there. But I will let you know where I got every item from and then we'll just keep working to get the rest of this space set up. Most of the decor going in that space came from home goods. I had to go like several times in order to kind of figure out again how I wanted to do that particular space. This was the inspiration, the Kinfolk Home um, by Nathan Williams. This was the inspiration for like how I wanted to decorate that particular space. Um, again, I love that this is interior for slow living. Like as soon as I saw that part of the title, slow living, I was like, yes, let me grab this book. And I've actually already started like thumbing through um, to get even more inspiration um, for like how I want to do other spaces in the home. For example, these uh, candle holders here, I did find some very similar um, that are white and concrete um, because I really like just the clean aesthetic of this space here. I could just see myself relaxing after work and just really getting inspired by this interior, like the interiors in this book. Okay, so... Um, of course, if you've been rocking with me, then you've already seen this particular vase. I got this one from Crate and Barrel, and I think it was like $40. Um, so I did get that one. I got this really cute vase here also. Um, I think this is a vase. I'm not really sure what it is, but I'm going to figure out how I want to use it in this space because I love that with the marble and then the white, the wood, the light brown wood or the brown wood gives a different texture in that space. So I have that. Also, from Home Goods, girl, come on, tell me these are not gorgeous. Ah, these candle holders are so freaking gorgeous. And it's like, Again, it took me walking around the store for almost two hours to kind of let my vision slowly start to come together. Even though I had pen stuff from like Pinterest and all of that, I still just couldn't see it. So I was in there for a long time. So I have a total of three to make like a collection because I was watching a like decorating video and they were saying like three pieces is enough, five is too many, and you never do an even number. So three, that's the magic number. I might have to like keep switching it around to make it come together the way I want it to come together. That fits perfectly. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, so I'm thinking I want them to go like right here in this corner, like in this space here. Yeah, like that sort of, kind of like catty corner, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think that's how I think I wanna do that. All right, so also from Home Goods, I got like all of these vases. I got a total of three. I got like a vase or a pot, like a bowl, and then another shape, and I'll show it to you in just a second. But I love that they're concrete and that they have like all of this texture to them. I really love how this space has come together. It's just so clean. It's very intentional. Each piece just looks intentionally placed. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Especially this one brown accent. I okay, so I switched it up a little bit and borrowed some decor from another space. Um, I did put my head here. I think that the texture of this being, it's almost like a porcelain um, or ceramic sort of finish compared to the concrete that is beside. And then this is a, uh, I wanna say, what is it called? Like a book, a bookend, 
Lord, I couldn't think. It's a book and I did get it from Target, but you can use it for like whatever you want to use it for. So I just put that back on the shelf. That was actually already on the shelf, so I just put it back. And I think that it balances it out quite nicely. So you have one, two, three pieces, and then you're back down to two pieces. Mm. Okay, so here's the fun part unboxing my chairs that I don't know what they look like. I think I kind of was saving this part to do next because I'm nervous. What if they're not like I envisioned them to be? I'm a little nervous. So let me take those out of the boxes. Let's see what they're looking like. Let's see if they're giving in this space and let's get them set up. Oh, yeah, okay. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Oh, let's get her out of the box. So this is the Fonra chair or counter stool that I ordered from Article. It is very modern. It's very light, but it feels super, super sturdy. Um, I got this because I wanted the wishbone chair, but the wishbone chair that I saw started out at like 1200 a chair. So this is very close to that particular style. So let me get her put into the space so that you can see her just set up. She's just so freaking gorgeous. I worried that the wood detailing to the chair would not match the flooring. It is just a perfect, perfect, like, oh my gosh. Make your mind tonight, pulling your hair, baby. I feel you breathing on me, on you. You know that I'm a selfish lover. When it's mine, I want it. One track mine for it, for you. I don't think I can let you go. I don't think I can. piece I need to set out before I can say that this space is like almost finished well that definitely doesn't go there so that needs to be moved but I need to unbox my ruckable again um, I have not looked at her the tape looks janky but I promise I haven't been in her so we're going to see what she looks like in her totality and if she fits the space because true T sis I don't even remember what it looked like okay so this ruggable system sis like it took me forever to figure it out i did not thoroughly read the card or scan the qr code that was on the card so i wasted literally like 15 minutes trying to figure out how to get the carpet onto like this velcro pad but after i wasted all that time i finally figured it out because 
I did, like most people do, went back in the box and got the directions. Yeah, yeah. But here I'm just sharing with you the finished product, like the finished results of this space. I am just so proud of myself because I feel like my personal aesthetic for my home, like my home decor, my style, my choice in pieces is just growing in terms of understanding how pieces work together to create warmth yet look very, very modern and chic and just keeps the house looking or y'all, I'm just not my house yet my apartment very luxurious warm feeling and just sophisticated looking i am just happy like i'm trying to put the words together but i feel like you guys know what i'm trying to say so i am going to end this vlog here because like i say i've been working on this all day and at this point your girl is tired and i'm just ready to call it but i will see you in my next vlog or video bye guys Party's never over for me My favorite toy I started But people's chasing me Woody Let me be a fantasy Swiss Army King, they call me